Hey everybody! Welcome to part three of the Slan slash Lizardmen in 40k. Now, last time, there's not as much to read here because they were talking about the war bands and Slan society. Uh, now they're going to go back to actually talking about Slan tactics, and this is where I'm talking about the White Scars. And if the what new White Scar material comes out mimicking this, you know where it came from. It's just a brief reading. It says here, the tactics. The slan fight for reasons beyond the understanding of other races. A warrior is fulfilling an important part of its life cycle. It sees the immediate goal as fighting and wouldn't think it appropriate to consider why this is. A slam would no more think of tactics than it would question the act of war. And a player controlling slam should use his forces in a way that would fulfill the warrior code. What is this warrior code? If troops are obviously doomed, they should die fighting. Attacks should be decisive and not half-hearted. Defeat is not a slam concept. Slam fight for the love of fighting, not to win or lose. And a gallant defeat is just as good to the slam as a glorious victory. Many slam believe that they are fated to die as warriors and are perfectly happy to do so. It's true. <laughs> if you want to know some of the some of the other technical things, uh, transport vehicles, slans usually uh, fl slan vehicles are entirely of their own design, most of which are walkers or combined hover flyers. There you go again. So, sound like an Eldar again? Slan don't have tracked or wheeled vehicles. They were either walkers or hoverer flyers. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> okay, well, anyways, yeah, that's it. So, you can see that what really happened in the development of 40K is a mixture, a mishmashing of some of the races that were in and some of the races uh, that are now gone. Now, here's a little Easter egg for you. I was going to put this in another part, but I'm just going to put this at the end of this video. The Jokero. Yes. Let's find out what they are now. The Jokero are a fascinating race. For one thing, no outsider has ever decided whether they are intelligent. They are certainly capable of tremendous feats of engineering, construction, and problem solving, yet they have no language, culture, or motivation higher than survival. Their physical appearance is of a heavy orange-furred ape, similar to the orangutan which roamed ancient Earth. This may or may not be a coincidence. For it is an established fact that the slan created and modified many races at the dawn of time. That's why I threw it at the end of this video. <laughs> to think about that. Um, and appear to have visited the earth on numerous occasions. The most amazing thing about the Jokero is their technological brilliance. They appear to have an innate, genetically structured understanding of technology. Given sufficient pieces of battered machinery, a group of Jokero can make almost anything. From a spaceship to a LAS cannon. Their comprehension of astrophysics is baffling. They seem able to tap power currents which flow imperceptibly through the galaxy. Their understanding of such matters goes far beyond that of even the most advanced of other known races, otherwise known as even more advanced 
than the slam. With the possible, uh, with the possible exception of the great mages of the slam. Okay, so not all the slam, just the possible exception of the great mages of the slam. So that means at best they might be equal, but commonly they would be even higher understanding of technology than the great mages of the slam. Wow. Jokero spacecraft, spacecraft, they built their own spacecraft and traveled in 40k first edition. Their Jokero spacecraft are a case in point. A Jokero spacecraft looks like no other form of space transport, consisting entirely of an open framed lattice structure, forming a unique polyhedral shape. This structure draws energy from the galactic power currents simply by virtue of its shape. In a similar way, which force weapons channel psychic energy by virtue of their spiral patterns. Jokero spacecraft move, maneuver, and transcend morp space by means of making physical changes to the ship's shape thereby altering the craft's relationship to the universal powers it employs and modifying its place in the natural galactic order. Is this blowing your mind yet? Yeah. Jokero live in large family groups, roaming the galaxy at random, concentrating on survival. They frequently land on inhabited worlds, usually to scavenge for oddments or specific components they require. If necessary, they will band together and attack other creatures in order to gain what they need. Because of their extraordinary talents, they use weapons, equipment, and tactics similar to other intelligent creatures and are capable of mounting coordinated and complex attacks. Usually, they will single out a lone station, a farmstead, or a distant mining ship as their target, attacking, looting, and making good their escape before they attract retaliatory action. It is impossible to argue or reason with a Jokero. Even giving them what they want is difficult, since they are incapable of communicating. If the Jokero could be controlled, they would be very useful to other races. However, this has proved largely impossible. They tend to build things which meet their own immediate needs. Attempts at capturing Jokero and compelling them to work have had disastrous effects. Uh, they build things with which to escape any traps that you might capture them in. <laughs> yes, uh, it's true. There's even more. Um, well, it goes into the rules of the building a Jokero army, which people may or may not be interested in. If you want to hear that, I can give you all the rules for how to build your own Jokero army and how they generate their weapons for their army is what most of the rules are because it's, 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 it's some crazy stuff. So you could just imagine a whole armies of Jokero, and each one is going to have a different weapon. This one has a, a Graviton gun. This one has a, a master-crafted bolt pistol. This one has a, a digital a Laz cannon. Who the fuck knows? It's, it's all <laughs> right down here. Um, anyways, see you next time. Bye.